welcome back to this channel I hope you're healthy and safe and I'm hoping that you're liking these videos and learning pattern from these videos as I can't see a lot of people liking or commenting on these videos and I'm not seeing the support that I should be seeing because um, it takes me a lot of time to make these videos and post them on YouTube but I will still keep going on and I, I'm hoping that I will see the support on these on this channel and a lot of people will subscribe and like these videos but if you're learning from this, these videos and if you are um, if these videos are making you better in Python in any way please please show your support and subscribe to the channel and like these videos and also comment on these videos share them with your friends and press the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video anyway what are we going to learn in this video in this video we are going to learn about f, f strings now f strings make python more readable and after this particular video in the next video we will be doing a project which will involve f strings so um, I just thought I should show you f strings now so you can learn about them and it's an important concept anyway because it makes Python more readable and it's another way of it's actually the easiest way of putting values from variables inside a string and before we move on to more things such as list or tuples because we are already on strings it makes sense to do it now so let's get started okay I'm going to pull up my Visual Studio code I've just already created a file called mytube 06 this okay so I already created this file mytube 06.py and First thing I'm going to do is just let me trust this. Okay. So first thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm gonna write a few variables here. So I'm just gonna write today. say Tuesday then let's say here let's say it's 2021 And let's say name and it's Tom. So we've got three variables here. First is day, which is Tuesday. Value is Tuesday. Here, value is 2021. Name is Tom. Now, 
if I'm writing a string, there's few ways of using this, these values, and I will show you each one of them and why we shouldn't be using them as well and why app strings are better. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a string and I'll just say I, I am So this, this bit we have seen in string concatenation a couple of lectures ago. Um, and today, it's Tuesday. And uh, today is, sorry, say today. We are living currently in King. Now, you might be thinking that this is correct. This code is correct but it's actually not and I will show you why if I run this now I'm gonna get an error see and what's the error you can only concatenate string not end to str str so this is a string however here is an integer and I'm trying to concatenate here in this string. So what I should be doing is I should be typecasting this into a string. Now I should get the desired output. Hi, I'm Tom. Today is Tuesday and we are living in living currently in year 2021. Perfect. So this was one way of using values of these variables into a string. However, you could see how many times I had to do this. Plus, then variable name, then plus, and then here I had to typecast it. So let's look at the better ways. Second way of doing it is print print I I am and they is And we are living in, sorry, currently in year 's so what I've done is this this is the traditional way or the old school way of formatting strings using the variable values so what I've done is wherever I wanted to insert a variable I put percentage s and then after the string ended, I just did a percentage and in the parenthesis, 
I've added the variables, the names of the variables. If I run this now, you can see I've got the desired output. Hi, I'm Tom. Today is Tuesday, and we are living currently in year 2021. So I've got the same output as this. However, I didn't do any of these plus. That plus or this plus. So it was better. However, can you imagine how confusing this would be if you're writing a whole story? How many percentage S would, would be there? And how many times, like, you will get really confused with the number of percentage S's and which variable is going where? Because you can't really tell the difference. All of them are percentages. So then there's another way. Which is print I I am and today is we are living currently in year dot format name day year okay so this is the third way of doing it. Instead of percentage S's, we put, put this curly braces in place. And then say the variable's name after format. And if I run this now, I haven't run this as yet. You can see I get the same offer. But still, it's pretty much like the same thing we did up, up here, which was using percentages. Obviously, it's better because it just, these are all blank. And you can see what value is going where. It's not as confusing as percentages. But now the best way, which is also the fastest way, and hence F string. So F in F string stands for fast. And it's the fastest way and the most readable way of doing this. And it is. You put a, you actually put a F in front of the string, and then you put whatever the string you want to put in, like that. And inside these, you actually type the actual variable name that you're going to use. That's it. It's nothing after ending the quotes. And if I run this now, you can see we got the exact same output. I forgot the space. 
equal to xx k mod 4 which we were getting doing after getting which we were getting after doing all of this complicated stuff up in these statements so guys this is the fastest way and this is what f strings are you can actually do other things as well in f strings so you can actually do this as well i'll just comment this um, three into seven so if we run it now Pretty sure you can actually do calculations inside them as well. Um, let's search for it. Calculations inside F string. Okay, yep. So it's actually yes, it's the parenthesis. So now if I do three into seven, close this. This, I should get the value. So within F strings, you can actually do calculations as well, and you can actually use that for normal string functions as well. So if I do they dot upper. And I will need to put this in parentheses again, like that. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I forgot this. Yeah, so you can see. I changed the value of day from lowercase to uppercase. So we can do normal string functions as well using F strings. So F strings are quite helpful and they are the fastest way. And you can just Google F strings and you can see a lot of different links and a lot of information on. F strings, why we should be using them. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. We'll be creating a project. Take care and stay healthy.